So what are your first impressions then of being a Sheffield United footballer? Um, I feel like I'm very welcome and I feel very comfortable from the start. Um, as soon as you, I got in the club, all the people are very friendly and just very down to earth. Um, and that was kind of followed up by the players being the same and um, obviously meeting the manager, which was really good as well. How long has this move been in the pipeline then for you, as far as you've uh, been concerned? Yeah, I, to be honest, I've heard bits from Sheffield for quite a while, um, but nothing really solid until, um, I don't really know, like the last week or so maybe, the last 10 days. Um, but once I confirmed that I wanted to come, then it started moving quite quickly. To that end then, it must give you a bit of confidence then that a club has, has kind of kept tabs, on, kept tabs on you, wanted you when you were at Preston, obviously then gone to Liverpool, very different, but stayed within stayed within kind of contact with you and wanting to try and get you here. Yeah, no, it's it's um, it's a confidence boost to the, the, the club feel like that. And um, one, like I say, once I confirmed that I wanted to come here, um, it moved along really quite quickly. And then all of a sudden I've been in the door with my medical yesterday and done my first session today, so. Where are you at then on the, on the fitness trail? Um, obviously I didn't have many match minutes in pre-season, but I've been training um, at high intensity, so to be honest, I don't know exactly until I get out on the pitch, but um, I feel I feel good in terms of training, but obviously match fitness is slightly different. And what was it about Sheffield United that made you think, I have to go there? Because there's been all sorts of speculation of different clubs being interested in you in the past couple of weeks. What was it about the Blades? Um, I think the, I said it yesterday, the fact that they had 29,000 fans on the first game of the season was a big pull because I want to get that um, taste of big atmospheres as regularly as possible. Um, and the manager, the football that this, this manager likes to play um, is obviously another attraction and I'm delighted with my decision. Um, having only been here like a day and a half, I'm, I'm really happy with um, everything here and glad to be here. And how did Slavisi Kanovic kind of sell his vision? Because you, you're a player that can play in different positions. So what does, what does he see as your role with this team going forward? Um, I think it's it's difficult to say really because I've been here and done one session so it's hard to answer that so early um, but I know that he knows that I like to pass the ball about and I know that he likes his teams to pass the ball about so I can only assume that that's a, a fit that he would he would have quite liked. There was all sorts of talk of from the outside at least of you of you coming here in the past. We've kind of already addressed that, but you went to Liverpool. What what kind of an educational experience has that been then? What have you learned from playing with some of the best around? Um obviously it was really a really strange and mad experience at first, but once I got used to it then it felt um it felt just <laughs> I'm not sure different to anything that I've experienced in football before like I've come to Sheffield now and it feels like a football club that I'm used to like for example Preston or like one of my other loans that I've been out on um, but Liverpool was like a kind of a different world and like a little bubble that you don't really understand until you go into it um, but in terms of learning just the, the intensity of the, the training and the the intensity that the manager likes to play at is, is incredible and um, I feel like now that I've been to Liverpool I can go to any club and fit in comfortably because of that experience that, of going in there the first day. Yeah, I was going to say, do you, do you almost feel as though you, you've not had the match day experience of course but you're a better player because it's that speed isn't it and intensity that you have to work at all the time? Yeah, I think you have, yeah, you have to be up to the, the levels of in intensity, right? Um, so yeah, I think training with them over the last six months, I will have improved slightly, but I want to improve 
by putting things into practice and that's why I've come out on loan. Is this something for you that you think is kind of shop window time? Because this is this is a loan, isn't it, for, for the forthcoming season? There isn't kind of the clause for a, for a sale. So are you kind of looking to re-establish your name back out there on the field? Um, yeah, I mean, every time I, I play, I try and do the best. So it's not like I'm looking to try and impress more than I normally would be. Um, but it's definitely an opportunity to try and get some regular football in and um, keep my match minutes as high as possible and be in the best shape that I can going back to Liverpool in summer. And what have you missed most? You mentioned the kind of match day experience, you've not had that. I mean, nobody's had it really for, for 12 months, have they? Not properly, but now you can and get out there. Yeah, I've missed um, Saturdays, basically. Um, I'm waking up with a means to an end rather than kind of knowing that you're not going to be um, as involved as you'd like to be. Um, so I missed that, so that was why I was itching to get back out on loan and I think that um, this would be a great fit for me because this is this will have the full match day experience with big crowds, which is what I'm looking forward to the most. Just a couple of bits from me, sort of finally then. You obviously know the Championship very well. What, what, what are your assessment of, of the challenges this year in, in trying to get at least into the playoffs, clearly hopefully better, an automatic promotion, and, and the other sides that Sheffield United will be competing with? Um, I think that it's a long, long season like it is every single time. Um, and obviously we were only two games in. Um, but I know that we've kept quite a lot of the squad together and we've got some really good quality here and I think that if we can put our style onto the, the league and the other teams then we'll have um, a good shot about getting where we want to be. And and you mentioned the manager before, you know, he's got stripes on his chest in that respect. Was that was that a selling point for you? Yeah, the manager was a selling point, yeah. Um, just with his experience of getting out of the league and um, the way that he plays football, definitely. It's going to be a cracking division though this year, isn't it? You know, we we are hoping, I suppose, that Sheffield United are up there. Fulham, West Brom, of course, is next on the horizon. There are sort of seven, eight teams that can perhaps fancy themselves for those types of ambitions this year. Yeah, no, it, it is every year. To be fair, like you, you've got the. It's just interesting. Like I've I've grown to love the championship and um, just seeing how it all pans out and stuff. Um, so I'm looking forward to being back in it for, for this year and hoping that we have a good year.